You know, it, it is so cool to be sitting here talking with you about Hall of Fame, because you had a Hall of Fame career and a Hall of Fame resume. He has been one of the greatest Mariners to ever wear the uniform. This is the man right here. What's it like sitting around waiting for this to happen? Well, it's been the, uh, 10 years now since uh, I got into uh, the ballot. My approach uh, all this time uh, is basically I don't have control, not to worry about it. If it happens, I will be uh, ecstatic. And uh, if it doesn't happen, you know, I will be fine with that too. Edgar, Edgar Martinez, the best kept secret in the game of baseball. So let's talk about young Edgar Martinez. Breaks into the big leagues, you're playing third base, and you could pick it. I know, I watched it. That's a shot at Edgar Martinez, and he makes the grab. When I got to the big leagues, I have a pretty good two good years. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be the third baseman for a while. Then I got uh, injury, and from there it was kinda hard to stay on the field. You're really going through the hamstring stuff. And now you know my survival in the major leagues is going to be as a hitter. I have yeah. to be a DH. At the beginning, it was tough. I was thinking maybe my career is going to be shorter. But um, I accepted it was my role and work hard at it. The hitting specialist. This is the purest of the pure hitters right here. So what's the biggest challenge of being a designated hitter? I think it feels, uh, DH, it feels like you going to pinch hit every bat. I realized I needed to be engaged, obviously, the whole time in the game. I would take some, some swings on the tee, uh, stretch my legs, stay as loose as possible uh, before um, going to bat. So when I, I think back at Edgar Martinez, there's two things that stand out to me. You could go line to line with any pitch, and you constantly were changing your stance. You were like hands high. I even tried to be Edgar. <laughs> I'd be standing, oh, I'm in my Edgar tonight. I got my hands up high. And then you'd hold them down low sometimes. The ability to hit line to line was just looking at the middle of the field and approaching the middle of the field. And I felt if I'm late, I hit it to right. If I'm on it, got to gap. If I'm in front, I pull it. Changing my stance, sometimes I will not feel comfortable on the plate, and I will imitate like George Brett. If it's we playing him, I'm watching his at bats. The same, I watch uh, Maddenly, uh, Kirby Pocket, and sometimes I will hit like them. I will try it in the game. If, an, if I got a hit, I use it for three or four more games. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about vision. Something that I'm so fascinated about that people don't know you may not understand. The problem that I have until today is that my eyes don't work together. The ball is coming close. The eyes have to work together to see the ball. Yeah. Well, mine were slow. And that's um, why you lost the ball. Yeah. Because your eyes are too slow to catch Especially up Especially my right one would be a slow to meet the other one. I would have been scared to death. I mean, I'm, you're losing baseballs. Did you ever get hit in the head? I did. Uh, I did in the uh, All-Star game in Chicago. I didn't see it coming off his hand. So I have to kind of make those muscles stronger. You were trying to hit tennis balls mm -hmm. and call out the number on the tennis balls coming at you like 85, 90 miles an hour. The, the tennis ball will come out about 130 miles an hour. Excuse me. I'll hold the bat here and I will try to track it as far as I could until it hit. If the ball is spinning, uh, you won't be able to see, but uh, sometimes it comes almost like a knockable, and then you can see the number. And that's good. At the beginning, I couldn't even see anything. It wasn't about me trying to hit it. It was about seeing it. You had to done it, though. It. Did you hit 130 times, miles an hour? A few times I'll <laughs> try it, but uh, it's very tough, 130. <laughs> 
As a Seattle fan, they would probably say the most important at bat in Edgar Martinez's life was the hit that drove in Griffey. What do you think was the most important at bat? I think that was the one. Yeah, I agree. So take us through that. 90 feet away, the tie, Joey Cora, Jr. over at first, representing the winning run. Nobody out for Edgar Martinez. The previous at bat, I, I knew you were going to go back to the bat before. Yeah. Because that's how you think. Yeah, the previous at bat, uh, kind of similar situation. The game on the line like that, and uh, he struck me out with the split finger. Got him. Edgar Martinez is fanned by Jack McDowell. And after that, I said, okay, I'm looking for a split. You know, the, so you the whole sold out, the whole AB. Sold out. So the next pitch was a split, kind of the same location, and I uh, was able to connect and hit the double. What was the lasting impact in your mind of that double that you hit for Seattle baseball? You know, I, I know that year, it was uh, kind of tough year for the fans and we didn't know where the team, whether was going to stay in Seattle or not. The fans show uh, during that series that Seattle is a baseball city. So yeah, that double had uh, a lot of meaning to me. So you hear your name, you get that phone call, you're inducted into the Hall of Fame. What will that be for Edgar Martinez? Um, it will be uh, an experience that I'll never forget. The whole journey from Little League all the way to the end of my career, it will play out in my mind. The Biggest thing for me, I think I'm going to be able to enjoy that with my family and it'll be cool.